they're very, very easy to hate. And I'm kind of thinking, why bother with a milkshake when you could get some battery acid? Um, <laughs> you know, that, that's just me. And I, it's all right. I, I'm not going to do it. It's purely a fantasy. Joe! Hey, Joe! W what in the spooning crike balls is happening to this country and our sense of humour? I don't know. I think if they want... Um, if they want an answer, there have been plenty of explanations by the BBC and Victoria Corrin as well. Okay. Good evening and welcome. In the wake of controversy surrounding recent comments made by comedian Joe Brown, the BBC have, with some reluctance, called me in as a resident joke expert. Uh, after their previous joke expert laureate was found hanged in his apartment, with a suicide note saying, quote, The following joke will employ the techniques of verbal irony and sarcasm, colon. My life has been a fulfilling and unpretentious truth. Hello, kind world. End quote. Boo! Silence! Now then, you may be wondering why I'm here. I'm wondering why you were even born. I will break your mouth! Now then, I'm here because... The BBC is deeply concerned about innocent wrong thinkers getting acid attacked. No, you're concerned that when it happens, you might be considered liable. I will rip your nipples off and eat them! E what? As I was saying, I'm here to offer some perspective and some insight on the matter of this joke and why it warranted a police investigation. I'll begin by showing you the top results of a Google image search for the term rape victims. As you can see, there is clearly a theme going on here. What you are looking at is the reason nobody is allowed to joke about rape. Because the victims of rape look like this. 100% female. This is largely because of our decision to, to define women raping men as not rape. But we in the BBC are choosing to ignore this. Right, well... I just did a search for violence victims, and this is what came up. Also, almost exclusively female, even though the <laughs> most of the violence happens to men. Uh, that definition is still undergoing the process of change. Right, so, so soon we won't be able to tell jokes about violence either. Correct. It's a women's issue after all. But if you want, if you want an example of why it's perfectly acceptable to tell jokes about, for instance, circumcision... Why don't you go ahead and do a search for circumcision victims and see if the images have anything in common? I hate you so much. Yes. Now, to roll back to my main point, what would you expect to see from a search for acid attack victims? Let's take a look, shall we? Again, the process of defining all victims as women is not yet complete with regard to acid attacks, despite our best efforts. It seems, it seems to be relatively evenly split between the genders. Uh, but you'll notice th there's a different theme here. Uh, they're not all of a protected gender, but they are all of a protected race. The West Asian brown recluse, to be precise. Yeah, uh, except whitey down here. I, uh, bugger off, you. And so this is why we have to take jokes about acid attacks very seriously indeed because we are sufficiently convinced that the majority of the victims are not white males. You can joke freely about circumcision or industrial disease or suicide because we've made very little progress convincing ourselves that the victims of these things are all women. But we'll get there too, don't you worry. In what way are you even remotely taking this seriously? They called in a joke expert, didn't they? Yeah, they called in a joke expert last time and then didn't even listen to what he had to say. He gave them the wrong bloody answer! Then what is even the point in talking to them, you absolute weapon? Blah! Was that supposed to- I refer you to what has already been concluded. As you can see from the officially state-approved statement, we carefully considered the program before broadcast. It was never intended to encourage or condone violence. And it does not do so. Case closed. We didn't do it. The defendant didn't do it because the defendant claims they didn't do it.
The defendant claims it didn't even bloody happen. Then what did you edit out of the program? Uh, nothing bad. If it wasn't bad, then why did you edit it out? We didn't. Why are you real? Is it, like, really difficult now to be a comedian? No. Uh, as a matter of fact, in the age of social media, it's easier than ever to promote the performing arts. What's increasingly difficult is being a pleb. A pleb with the wrong opinion. They're having a sense of humour and not having a state-approved broadcasting corporation to haul you up in a bubble and apologise for you. Yeah, I think you'll find I'm not alone in my interpretation. There are, there are plenty of plebs who agree with me. Look. There are copycat attacks all the time but doesn't Joe's other joke, crazy people. But doesn't Joe's joke, Piers, go somewhere to deflate in that and prove it how stupid the milkshake is? But do you know what? It no, wasn't even a no, joke. No, because what she's basically saying is that doesn't go far enough. You use battery No, that's a joke. Why, why didn't she make it? All? You see? It's a joke. It's just a joke. Are you a judge? What? No. Well, if Dankula's case is any precedent to go by, it's up to the judge to decide whether or not something is a joke. It's up to the judge to read your mind and decide what your intentions were. Only if you can rally enough offended and acid attack victims to warrant a criminal charge under the Offensive Communications Act. Okay, on the subject of offence, let's, let's quantify what offence is. Sounds implausible, but let's see if we can do it. I, in my opinion, no joke is so offensive that it justifies blanket censorship, but nevertheless, let's Try and find a metric to work with. Joke number one. Why don't... Why doesn't somebody throw sodium chloride over him? Because that's assault. You know, there's an actual punchline to what she's saying. That joke is not offensive. Yes, it is. It's awful. Well, India, it's, it's essentially a pun. Puns don't even aim for laughs. They aim for groans. And groans are noises that people make when they're mildly offended. So let's... Call this joke mildly offensive at worst. Joke number two. I don't advocate throwing battery acid on anyone. I think we should all stick to milkshakes, although if you're extremely angry, I believe it is acceptable to freeze the milkshake first. This joke is slightly more offensive than the previous joke, mainly because the first joke's premise was a de-escalation of violence from milkshakes to salt, whereas this joke's premise is an escalation from liquid projectile to solid projectile. Although at least it's a transformative escalation and there's something funny about that transformation. Even though a frozen milkshake could very well give someone a concussion, at least it's, it's sort of surreal and unexpected and probably wouldn't happen in real life. Are you defending Kate Smathwaite? It's fine. I was sick like an hour ago. There's nothing left. All right, joke number three. Joe Brown used to do a gag when she said, I was told the best way to a man's heart was through his stomach. Mm. She used to say, no, I think the best way to a man's heart is through his chest with a bread knife. Right. This joke is more offensive than the previous two jokes. Uh, oh, you're Again. censoring now, are you? Again! Oh, I, I, I thought you believed in free speech. I do not think this joke or any joke should be subject to unanimous censure, but since we're trying to quantify offence, we can safely say that an escalation from feeding a man to stabbing him in the chest with a serrated knife which, as we all know, is only good for bread, is an escalation that you need a quite psychotic sense of humour in order to find funny. But that's fine. I, you know, When I was 12, I used to draw pictures of men getting tortured and mutilated all the time, and I thought it was funny. And some people retain that sense of humour well into their 60s. Yes, and that's the kind of haughty, intelligent comedy we like at Radio 4. Quite. And much in the same way, a joke that escalates from milkshake to battery acid is only funny if you're slightly psychotic in your sense of humour. Otherwise, it sort of... It sounds like the punchline's missing. You know what I mean? It's just... And then, like, what, throw battery acid on them and get charged with assault and battery? Shocking. See, see then... It would just be another pun. That way the escalation is the setup and the the pun is the payoff. But if you just end it at throwing acid at someone, it's violence for its own sake as the punchline. <laughs> and quite a lot of people don't see violence for its own sake as something funny. <laughs> 
Yo, for heaven's sake, have you ever watched Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck? One of them pulls out a gun, the other pulls out a bigger gun, the other pulls out an even bigger gun, the other pulls out an even bigger... It's one of the oldest tropes in the book. Escalation itself is a punchline. Yeah, and if Bugs Bunny, instead of pulling out a bigger gun, just throws acid in Duffy Duck's face, blinding and immobilizing him, the next scene cuts to him lying in a hospital bed with a face like an Egyptian death mask, that scene would not be suitable for a Looney Tunes cartoon. <laughs> it would not even be suitable for Family Guy. Even they would find it too dark, because it is seriously goddamn dark trying to find humour in throwing acid in someone's face. A bigger gun is funnier than a big gun. A frozen milkshake is arguably funnier than a liquid one, but throwing acid in someone's face is not funnier than anything, as far as I can tell. Partly because, again, it's something that actually happens. To brown people! Yes, thank you for reminding us. And Joe Brand, of all people, she's a former mental health nurse. If she doesn't realise that there's people that can be influenced by that kind of thing, God help us. All right. She's not a mental health nurse. She's a comedian. Just, just because she's aware of how mental health problems work and can be spread, it, it doesn't mean she's under any obligation to give a shit about it in her capacity as a comedian. <laughs> no, I guess that sort of thing is at the whim of one's own conscience. Or whatever dead cockroach on strings you might be using in lieu of it. The view on the uh, Joe Brown thing. She's not going to be charged, um, Ed. The police have uh, dropped that. That's sort of the latest line on that. And good morning to you. Thanks for calling. Oh. Right then. On that bombshell, my work here is officially done. The, the BBC is safe from any liability for another day. And we can get back to blaming everyone else for everything. Tell her then. I suppose I'll go home. You are home. My God, you're right. Kill me! No. No! You're gonna watch the poop and you're gonna like it! No! Um, in the interest of balance, I wonder if it would have been dropped if, for example, it had been Tommy Robinson who had come out with something like that. What do you think? Well, he's not a comedian, for, for one thing, and it's all about context. Well, he's not a comedian. <laughs> These, I, I wasn't at the show. Or Sargon of Akkad talking about, um, the, you know, su su suggesting that there's not enough beer in the world to rape Jess Phillips. That's not, that this is not um, the same thing at all because of context. <laughs> she did follow it up, actually, by saying, I wouldn't do this. Yeah. <laughs> Well, he's not a comedian. I won't knife you in the back, I'll knife you in the front. Well, he's not, not, he's not, not, not. You broke it. We need another one. Bill me for the damages, dickhead. My address is 69 Uranus. Good night. Fuck right, everyone. Do me a favour and don't assault anyone. Honk. Why rape though? Have you seen Why the... rape though? How would you describe Why rape though? You're deliberately misrepresenting what's happened. Rape though. I'm interested Why in... Why rape though? Why rape though? It's a joke. At your expense. Rape though. Why rape though? This is tabloid journalism that you have found. Rape though. Put in her face to outrage her. Rape though. Being able to... Rape though. Take... Rape though.